Good morning. My name is Henry Chandradat. I'm here at St. Peter's Lutheran Church in the borough of Brooklyn. I'm Vicar Henry Chandradat. I'm bringing you the message for today. Pastor B is away, so I'll be conducting the service. So please bear with me if there's any, you know, abnormalities. But we should be fine. So I just want to say thank you all for coming out, all those watching online. I say thanks to you. Um, this Sunday is Good Shepherd Sunday, and it's about the shepherd and his sheep. So I just want to say thank you guys again for coming. As we usually do, we uh, give thanks to those who serve. So at this time, we'll uh, like, ask you guys to stand. As you give God thanks and praise for all our first responders, EMT, firefighters, uh, police officers, Everyone who try to keep us safe. Okay? So at the count of three, round of applause. One, two, three. Thank you. Our opening hymn for today is, There is a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. continue with invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with true heart and confess our sins to God our Father, imploring Him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. We will sing that song. Hide me in your holiness.
Almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor mercy of a sinner, confess you all my sins and iniquities with which I offended you and for which I justly deserve your punishment. But I'm sorry for them and repent of them and pray for your boundless mercy. Forgive my sins and give me Holy Spirit for the amendment of my life and bring me to life everlasting. Amen. God is merciful and gracious, granting forgiveness through Jesus Christ to all who confess their sins. As a servant of the word, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of your sin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will sing this song, beautiful hymn, Savior like a shepherd lead us. Let us pray together the prayer of the day. O Christ, our good shepherd, by laying down your life for your flock, you have revealed that you loved us all eternally. Lead us from the valley of the shallow to abundant life, and guided by your care, we may follow on life of service to you and our neighbors. Amen. Please be seated for first reading.
Good morning. This morning's first lesson is the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. He stoleth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou, for thou lit me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now for a second. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Morning. God is good. All the time. God is good. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Our second lesson for this morning is from the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verses 19 to 25. For it is a credit to you, if being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. If you endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, what credit is that? But if you endure when you, do the, when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For to this you have been called because of Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who justly, who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you've returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Thank you David. At this time, we will go to our, we have a, what we'll do in Espanol? No, I didn't say it. Sorry about that. In Espanol. Segunda lectura, tomada del libro de primera de Pedro, capítulo 2. Versículo del 19 al 25. Porque es digno de elogio que por sentido de responsabilidad delante de Dios se soporten las penalidades, aún sufriendo injustamente. Pero, ¿cómo pueden ustedes atribuirse mérito alguno si soportan que los maltraten por hacer el mal? En cambio, si sufren por hacer el bien, Eso merece elogio delante de Dios. Para esto fueron llamados, porque Cristo sufrió por ustedes, dándoles ejemplo para que sigan sus pasos. Él no cometió ningún pecado, ni hubo engaño en su boca. Cuando proferían insultos contra Él, no replicaba con insultos. Cuando padecía, no amenazaba sino que se entregaba a aquel que juzga con justicia. El mismo, en su cuerpo, llevó al madero nuestros pecados para que muramos al pecado y vivamos para la justicia. Por sus heridas, ustedes han sido sanados. Antes eran ustedes como ovejas descarriadas, pero ahora han vuelto al pastor que cuida de sus vidas. Esta es palabra de Dios. Palabra del Señor. Thank you very much. So now we will go to our gospel acclamation as we continue our gospel reading. So please stand. Open our eyes, Lord. Jesus, to reach 
The Holy Gospel for this fourth Sunday of Easter is in the book of John, beginning at the first verse. Glory to O Lord. Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought all out all his own, on his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of the strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it. Abundantly. This is the gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. And now um, we will call the children for Sunday school. Come on up. Let's see. Let's see how many kids we have. Come on up. Nice crowd. Nice crowd. Go on line. All right. Can you say your name? First name. I need not. Chloe. Matthew. Um, what's called? <laughs> oh, Ariella. Hey. Walker, Walker. There you go. So we have a good set of kids here. Can somebody tell me who is a shepherd? A shepherd is a sheep. Shepherd is a woman. A shepherd is who takes care of a sheep. Shepherd take care of a sheep. Very good. And do you know who's our good shepherd? Okay. okay, our good shepherd is Jesus. So today in Sunday school, you guys are going to learn about the good shepherd, right? So go to Sunday school, follow Miss Erica, and you guys are going to tell us about the sheep when you come back. The good shepherd and the sheep. All right? God bless you all. All right.
So good morning once again. My name is Vikar Henry Chandradat. I'm here um, serving as usual. Pastor B is away. Well deserved time away and uh, him and Judy. So we pray for their safety and for them to have a good time and come back to us. Um, it's been an exciting week today, right? This past week has been an excited one for St. Peter's. Because myself and Brother Jose, we got called into the seminary. We called to be pastors. <laughs> to give God thanks and praise. Yes. I myself went down there and uh, it was a blessing. I wish I had all of you there because there were so many people. I was by myself. And I feel kind of weird, but I knew some of the professors, and I went to talk to them, and like Leo and you know some other ones we spoke, and they came up to me. But everybody was friendly, um, so I got to meet also some of my classmates were there, and their brother, their entire family. These guys from Africa, they all dressed with their their fancy clothing and you know different shoe color and stuff. But um, it was a fun night. Everything had to be in order. Everything had to be in a certain way. No mistakes. So here we are lined up by the bottom of the church. And they tell us the procession, how we're going to go. And we had this one guy who says, he, well, he's in control. He's telling us. He says, if I tell you to go and sit, you go. If you see the pew is full, still go and sit. <laughs> still sit. <laughs> just go <laughs> I'm like okay the thing is for my group they go in alphabetical order so chanter that okay I was the first so these guys don't have a problem I had a problem I have to be on my queue <laughs> they're closing their eyes and stuff and I'm like okay I gotta go but uh, everything went well so I got God, give God thanks and praise and I just was so overwhelmed with the joy and support that we ha I have from our church. With everything that's going on here, when I look at the pictures and the videos and Pastor B and everybody's like shouting. I heard somebody mouth the loudest. Guess who? Our president. <laughs> Sonia. Yeah. They're like, okay, so all right. But it was a fun time. I was really, really emotional. And um, sorry I couldn't wave. Nobody else was waving. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> and it's, you know, so, but um, I was so tempted. So tempted. But anyways, I'm back. And um, we have work to do. Right? We have lots of work to do. Myself and Brother Jose. So I just want to ask you guys to come on back. So today is Good Shepherd Sunday. Right? Can you bow for a second? May the words of my mouth and meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Grace, peace, and mercy from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, how are we doing today? Fantastic? Yeah? Okay. So Good Shepherd Sunday, do we need a shepherd? Why do we need a shepherd? Why do we need a shepherd? Someone to lead us. But have we lost our way? Have we gone astray? Sometimes we are. Sometimes we do. And I am here today to plead with you to come back. Come back to the flock. Make your way back. If you feel like you have not gone astray, say the course. Say the course, all right? And bring those who have gone astray back to the flock. The scripture says we are all like sheep that have gone astray. We are all like sheep who have gone astray. Each of us turned to our own way. And the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. So we celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday. Today remember our Good Shepherd, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Time and time and again, right, we find ourselves lost. 
time and time again, we find ourselves drifting away from the flock. Time and time again, we find ourselves struggling to make our way back to the flock. Time and time again, we find ourselves too ashamed to come back into the flock. Friends, I want to let you know that we have a shepherd that never leaves us. We have a shepherd that never forsakes us. He is the good shepherd. He is Jesus Christ, our Lord. And he needs you back in his flock. This shepherd will go out of his way and he will not stop looking for even the youngest lamb or the oldest sheep. He is Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes. How blessed are we to have such a shepherd? How blessed are we who goes out to seek and to save all who have gone astray. He's patient and he's forgiving. Right? But what happens when we do all we can to the best that we can and we still cannot find our way home? Then you may want to ask yourself, am I looking to be in the right flock? Are you at the correct gate? Are you following the right shepherd? Are you listening to the correct voice? The scripture says, My sheep knows my voice. They listen and they answer me when I call. They will not follow a stranger. Would you follow a stranger? I don't think so. Not in New York City. All right? Unless you are in law enforcement, a detective or something. Or you just want to be curious about the notice person. But... We don't really do that, right? Jesus warns us to be aware of the evil one who will snatch us away from his flock. He tells us who he is, who they are, and he warns us about such. All the ones who came before me are thieves and bandits. They do not, li do not listen to them. They only come to steal and kill and destroy. He says, I am the gate. I am the one who can help you. Whoever enters with me will be saved, for I came to, so that they may all have life. Yes, friends, not just life, but an abundant life. But what happens when you're, you are in the flock and bad things happen to you? How do you handle that? Our epistle tells us that we must be aware of what God has done for you. For what God, Jesus has done for you. Being a Christian means to endure whatever comes our way. Right? My brother David read this passage and he says, it just it hits him directly. For it is credit to you, if being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. But if you endure when you are beating for the doing wrong, what credit is that? But if you endure what you do right and suffer for it, right? You have God's approval. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example. So if Jesus can suffer all these things, how about us, right? How about us? So that you should follow his steps. He is committed. He is committed no sin. No deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But he entrusted himself to the one who justly uh, judges. He himself bore all our sins in his body on the cross. So that we may be free from sins. That we may live for righteousness. And by his wounds we are healed. For you are all going astray like sheep. But now you have returned to the shepherd. And the guardian of your souls. Brothers and sisters. Have you heard this voice of Jesus calling you? 
Then answer him. Answer him. Have you heard him pleading for you? Then answer him. Jesus is the good shepherd. Come and walk with him. Walk with him for a little bit. And rest assured, your life will become better. Your life will be more worthy. You will see things differently. The blessings that will fall on you will be countless. A lot of times I wonder in my life where I was and the same for Brother Jose. And look where we are today. And it's all because of the love of God. You know that song we sing, I can hear my Savior calling. Right? He calls you. Listen to his voice. Listen to his voice and answer him. We all have gifts that we can serve. We have different gifts, different talents, and God can use us in so many different ways to make his kingdom a better place, make this world a better place, be a better person, be an example. Right? Jesus came to, as a role model for us. Let us try to mirror that life that he lived, which is pleasing to God. As we say, and, and I would like you guys to read this for me, as we continue with the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for being our good shepherd and the shepherd of our souls and ask you to continue to be by our side each and every day. Amen. So at this time, we, you know, I usually sing a song. But today I'll have some help. I'll have some help today. So Sarah is going to sing with her dad. <laughs> The song is, um, Thy Word is a Lamp Unto My Feet. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path when i feel afraid or think i've lost my way still you're there right beside me nothing will i fear as long as you are near please be near me to the end thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. I will not forget your love for me, and yet 
My heart forever is wandering. Jesus, be my guide and hold me to your side. And I will love you to the end. Thy word is lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path nothing will i fear as long as you are near please be near me to the end thy word is lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path you're the light unto my path you're the light unto my path you're the light unto my path amen give god a praise all right so there you have it Next congregation please stand Page six of our bulletins on the screen. We're going to reaffirm our Christian faith by the words of the Nicene Creed. We begin. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds. God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnated by the Holy Spirit the Virgin Mary and made, made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended to heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge the one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated. So at this time, we'll go to our announcement and prayers. Let's see, we have some here. Thank you, brother. Okay. All right. So let me see for our announcements what we have. And here it is, yes, as I was talking about the call service. Rejoice in the Lord. We give thanks to God for the good shepherd of our, our Lord Jesus Christ, who leads and guides us through it all. So this morning we bashed in the reflected sunshine of the call night in St. Louis, at which St. Peter's was blessed to receive great news. Two candidates, myself, Henry Chandler, that, and Brother Vicar, um, Jose Pinero Watts has been extended divine calls to serve as associate pastors. Give God a hand for that. Right here at St. Peter's. So we give God thanks and praise to all who are here. I know it's 
I just keep watching those uh, videos and pictures and yeah, just so grateful. So plans for ordination will be coming up, you know, sometimes after summer or June summer, sometime after September, I believe. And um, we're going to plan on that. So continue at, um, our prayer service on Wednesday at 6 with Leela, and then our service at 7. Um, come one, come all. So now, um, let's see. I'll go back to prayers. Prayers for our people. So at this time, we have Andrew Ryan for his back. Marie Castello for health, Karen Mal Malamas for healing, Dwight, speedy recovery, broken ankle, Brenda has a cold, uh, Gary has to do some tests, and prayers for Carmen. See Carmen here? Okay. Um, the morning we have the Mercy, Mercy Mother. Um, Carmen and the girls, I see. Okay. Celebration, we have Traveling Mercies for Javon, Olivet, and Tony. Um, Salsalcia, birthday, yesterday. Angelina. Um, Posca, birthday. In Germany. Diane Miller, 80th birthday today. Miss Miller, happy birthday. I don't know if you can see us. Wow. 80. Is that right, Amy? Okay, prayers for Pastor B and Judy on their travels. Prayer and thanksgiving and blessing to Henry and Jose. Thank you, guys. Um, for a special prayers, you have guidance for the and Paul families. Prayers for Mackie and Vargas. Higio family. Higio. Guidance for Karen, Susan, and Audrey. All right. Wilma and Eddie for guidance. The Ryan and Isley family. Um, guidance and thanksgiving. Katrina, return to work safely and safety and health. He's asking for that. Camille Fong and Anna Fong. And guidance for the Andrew and Ryan family and thanksgiving. And for Jordan, help in school. Okay. That's all that we have here. Um, let's see what I have for online prayers, and then we'll take from here. Online prayers, you have Anne Ramsamuch, prayers for the Carrington Blades and, and family, Virginia Ananetti, Padden and Torres family, Debbie Trotter, uh, Vashi Samir, Maria Samuel prayers for her in the hospital. Maria Samuel prayers for her in the hospital and positive tests. So Maria's in the hospital. All right, we pray for you, Maria. Susan Alcoy, prayers of thanks for Karen doing better. That's good news. Michelle Kemp, prayers for her and Tanya Kemp and five grandchildren and whole Kemp family. Jimmy Karen Balamas, thanks for the prayers and well wishes. Leela Dindia, prayers for Leela and family. And we have a special one here from Judy. Judy Benke, prayers for Doris Brent, recovering from shoulder, and for Kevin King, friend from City Field, blessing, being treated for lipoma, lipoma. That's from Judy, and it says, turn, PTO, turn, please turn over. Ita Cole, prayers for Maria Samuel and St. Peter's family. Online viewers, love the father and daughter song. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> we'll try to do that more often because you know the voices. I gotta hear the voice. So I'll probably get different singers coming up if they want to. Um, so, what for here now? Do you guys have more prayers? Any? Just some birthday prayers. Um, birthday. Yes, Pastor B is coming up, his birthday, Cinco de Mayo, and he's not going to be here. But, you know, it's okay, Pastor B. We will still give you. And on Sunday, Nick's 21st. And Nick's 21st, wow, 21st. So we got Nick and Pastor B. And I know I have a special one here, too. 
Sarah? Ariella, May 2nd. She's going to be five years old. Yeah, going so fast. Yeah, May 2nd. Any more prayers? Prayers? Anybody? Dave? For David and Peter and the Chandra family. Yes. Lots of prayers. Annette? You need what? Healing in your home. Yes. Okay, we pray for healing for Annette. Household. Okay. Happy birthday, Salida. She's right here. All right. I'm healing in your home. Okay. Anyone else? Gary? Blessings? Okay. Blessings for everyone from Gary and peace. All right. Anyone else? Okay. So let's pray. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we come before you today as we give you thanks and praise that we can be able to serve you. We can be able to worship with you today our Good Shepherd Sunday. It's a time, Lord, that we know that you, we are covered under the blood and your sacrifice that you have made for us on that cross of Calvary. You are a good shepherd, O oh God, and you take care of your flock. So we thank God, and we thank you for being there for us and all that you have done so that we may be able to follow your lead as a good shepherd. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all those who are sick and suffering in any way, O oh God. For all those who are hospitalized, all those who are shuttings. All those people who need a special touch, special care. We ask you, Lord, to send your Holy Spirit to administer to them. To heal them, make them whole, give them the comfort that they need at this time. Lord, in your mercy. For all those who are mourning the loved ones, loss of loved ones. Ones who have gone before us. We know, Lord, it's bittersweet. And we know, Lord, that uh, it's hard to lose a loved one. But we know, as Christians, we believe that we will all meet again. We will meet again at a place where there will be no more crying, no more tears, no more sorrows, no more pain. Where there will be peace and joy and singing and always praising your name. So, Lord, give us this comfort that we need. And this time as we mourn for our loved ones. Lord, in your mercy. For all those good things in life, for celebrations, of birthdays, anniversaries, promotion, all the good things in life, the happy times, we give you thanks and praise. And we ask you, Lord, to always let us remember that you are in control. And as you've given us another year of life and another year of good things, may we always remember to seek you first and give you the praise and glory because all good things come from you. All good things come from Father in heaven. And we are blessed to have you as our Lord and our Savior. Lord, in your mercy. For our special needs for all those traveling, for our Pastor David, Benke, and Judy, as they make their little trip, we ask you, Lord, to watch over them and let them have good times and stay in good health and bring them back safely to us as we do the best we can for you here. So Lord, watch over all those who are traveling, all those who have special needs, even things that we cannot disclose, things that are not listening here, but remain in our hearts. So we ask the Lord to bless and keep all those who are traveling. We ask you to bless this church, bless our ministry, bless St. Peter's, bless our calling as pastors to serve here at St. Peter's that St. Peter's may become, continue to be that beacon of light, to meet many, to reach many who have left the flock and those who want to be in the flock, that they may hear your voice and come back to you, come back to church, come back to give you thanks and praise for all you have done for us. 
So all these things we ask, Lord, as we pray for peace in the world, peace in the country, pray for our preschool, all our leaders here in St. Peter's, and all our, our servants, all our members, all their families. May there be special blessing upon them and their families. Lord, in your mercy. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So now we uh, will go to our offering. During the offering, we will sing, Now We Offer. I just want to let you know that elements have already been consecrated by our pastor David Benke. I will only say these words. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, he took bread, broke it, and gave thanks. When he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you. We'll sing this, our song of unity. The Our Father. Oh, before we do that, let's do this one. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Amen. Now, we will sing the Lord's Prayer.
Let us share that peace. Peace, peace, peace. So we have today we have individual cups for our distribution of the Holy Communion. Um, we'll start on this side first. We have uh, two songs, I believe, June, yep. Be not dismayed, whate'er be tied, God will take care of you. And how lovely are the mountains, our God reigns. Beautiful. So we start from this side. Dave is going to distribute, I'll give a blessing.
Oh, please stand. Oh, sorry. Yes, I'm forgetting. Take, eat. The body of our Lord. They can drink the blood of the Lord. All rise. The body and blood of our Lord strengthen and preserve you, set fast in the true faith and the life everlasting. Go in peace. Amen. Okay. Let us pray. Almighty God, you provide the true bread from heaven. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, grant that we who have received the sacrament of this, his body and blood may abide by him and that he and may we be filled with the power of his endless life now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Um, receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, I want to say sit for a little bit, but then you're going to have to stand again. But all right. So it's, uh, it's been a pleasure to serve today. Um, remember I warned you about little, you know, little glitches that might happen? And it did. <laughs> all right. So, uh, but it wasn't biggie. It's, uh, you know, one of those things that sometimes you get. I think a part of me is still in St. Louis, so I don't know. Um, it's been a pleasure. Uh, for all those watching online, I thank you for you know, tuning in. And I hope that the message and the service have been a blessing to you and your family. And we ask that you may come on out. Come and visit us sometime. Uh, bring more people. Um, we have the Sunday school going. We have um, you know, nice, wonderful people here. So we have some refreshment there in the back. Uh, nothing much, I don't know. Right? A little something. So let's do a quick prayer for that. Um, dear God, we give you thanks and praise, and we ask you to bless the food that we're about to eat. May it be nourishing to us, and may we be blessed from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. And may we be well to live for you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, yeah, so I say thanks to you. Um, you have any? You have a message? Okay. Good morning, everyone. I have an announcement to make. Um, Finally, finally, at long last, there's here offering envelopes. I have them in the parish hall. So see me for a box of offering envelopes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So there we have it. We have the offering envelopes. So I don't think anything else we have, but uh, see you guys on Wednesday. Hopefully. If not, next Sunday. Our closing hymn for today is he leadeth me he leadeth me all rise
go in peace and serve the Lord.